I have to say, Egypt is one of the most fascinating cultures in the world. In the Egyptian mysteries, men was composed of various spiritual and mental components as well as the physical component and each had its proper medicine. These secret sciences advance over time and tales of wonders healing oils, life-giving potions, and imitations of gold and precious stones had survived even to our day. Stone robbers used to plunder the first tomb oils. These oils were considered more precious than gold and easier to carry and sell. The stolen gold was heavy and had to be melted down before you could sell it. When Alexander the Great arrived in Egypt around 300 BCE, he fell in love with the whole culture, and the Egyptians welcomed him with open arms. This began the so-called Greco-Egyptian or Ptolemaic period of Egyptian history. The Greeks called Egypt Chem or Kemet. This literally meant the black land and is in reference to the thick layer of dark fertile soil deposited by the annual flooding of the Nile. Knowledge of Egypt and Egyptian secret sciences made its way into Greece, what it was called Kemia, the black art, and a span a long line of Greek alchemists. In Egypt, Alexander initiated a sweeping campaign of construction and restoration, including the city named after him. Alexandria. The Great Library of Alexandria is legendary. It has been estimated that this library contained nearly a million volumes of the collected writings of the known world. Scholars from everywhere flocked to Alexandria and it became a melting pot of ideas and philosophies. It is here that the Hermetic philosophy and alchemy congeal as a path to spiritual attainment, and its secrets were only revealed to initiates under an oath of silence. By around 30 BCE, the Roman legions have swept the world, and the last of the Egyptian Ptolemies has fallen to Roman rule. During this insurgence, a very large part of the Great Library was destroyed by fire. Initially, Rome was tolerant of Egyptian ways. In fact, the worship of Isis spread well into the Roman world with temples in Rome itself. As the early Roman emperors became converted to Christianity, this level of tolerance dropped off. In 290 CE, the emperor Diocletian feared that the influx of imitation gold produced by the Egyptian art could disrupt the Roman economy. So, fearing that, Diocletian passed an edict calling from the destruction of all texts and materials dealing with the manufacture of gold and precious stones. This order was carried out with great severity. Great masses of information were in indiscriminately destroyed as well as what remained of the Great Library. In 325 CE, Rome officially became Christian, and in 391, the Emperor Theodosius made heresy punishable by death and ordered the destruction of pagan temples. In the Roman world, which at the time covered quite a large area, you were either a Christian or you were exiled or killed. Most people practicing Hermetic philosophy fled the country and migrated east to the Arab lands not occupied by Rome. The center of the alchemical art flew to Persia. It was there that the prefix al was added to the Greek word chimia to give us alchemia and later to become alchemy. 
thank you so much for listening to this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to move into the history of the Dark Ages and how alchemy became one of the most prolific sciences.